Hello, and thank you for joining us. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And I must say, for those of you who have commented on my voice quality, I am sorry to say that I am coming back from a bout of laryngitis that I picked up down in Dallas at Cydia. I was checking out the latest in home theater, and it was a great time. If anybody ever has the chance, I highly recommend Dallas for Cydia. It's going to be there next year. What we're going to look at today is an update for the Google Nexus player, which apparently right now is $25 at Target. I checked it out myself, and they are clearing it out. If you have a Target in your town, check it out. Because what you get is a quad-core Android TV device that can run XBMC slash Kodi natively. Access a lot of things from the Google Play Store. And is easy to sideload with things like ES File Explorer and launch the sideloaded applications from the sideload launcher. So, let's take a look at what we need to do to update. Hopefully, Nexus will continue to do updates. But you see, let me just do that again. You go into Settings. You go down here to where it says About. For some reason, they don't have anything that says Update, which would be more obvious. Here is where you see a lot of controls. And of course, what you want to suggest and select is the System Update. All right, so says it's downloaded and verified and we're going to restart and install so this is going to turn itself off in a couple of seconds and we'll join you on the other side okay so we ran the first round of firmware updates and we're going to go back into settings and to about and you see it is currently running version 5.1.1. But we're going to check and make sure that there isn't another new update. And I believe there will be. So you look at that. It says that there is a 6.0 Marshmallow update. So let's restart and take a look at that. And then we're going to give the whole thing an overlook. So it's going to give us another countdown. Have you seen the final countdown commercials? Those are so funny. Okay, so now that we have this reset, we are going to take a look around. In general, visually, it looks the same as it ever did. The backgrounds still change according to what you selected, kind of like Cody does. Or actually, Cody or Plex for that matter. We still have our apps listed here and the games listed in a separate place. If we look into the settings menu, it's the same old settings menu. One difference being we're now running 6.0. But otherwise, this looks like it always did, which is fine with me. Like I said, taking a look at this, I can't believe that you can grab it for $25. Okay, so, go into the Google Play Store and let's take a look there, see if there's anything new. Looks and feels the same. I like that they've put the Final Fantasy stuff out there. Those were great games. Now, something I do notice here, and you have to be a, almost geeky to notice this, is they've renamed some of the categories. I believe these used to be called Top Apps and Games. And if my eyes are right, I believe they have changed up the order of a couple of things. Maybe even added a category or two for the games. But overall, there's no big change. There's top apps right here.
So, looks like they have kept everything familiar. Now, while we're doing this, let's see if we can um, update Cody a bit. Let's see. It has an installation feature. I'm going to guess that that means that we're updating it. zooms right along. How fast something updates, of course, has everything to do with the speed of your internet. It's going up by 10, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, come on, don't stop at 97. All right, there we go. <laughs> See, one of the things about this device that impressed me from the start was that you could just drop Cody on there without anything tricky. That wasn't how it originally shipped. Yep, there we go, 15.2 Isengard, that makes sense. So there's how you update. Nice clean build, I imagine. Yep, okay. So let's get out of that. But in general, the update is very easy. As you see, all you have to do in review is go to settings, go to about, go to system update. See, we're up to date now. But that's all it is. Very simple. Just do it. Let the system do its job. Keep it powered on while it's going on so don't do this during an electrical storm where you might lose power because you could really mess things up that way wish there was something super exciting to show you i did test to see if the new feature the uh I believe it's called what's on would um interact with this but holding down the home menu here, the home button does not do anything but bring you home. <laughs> so, that is version 6.0 on the Nexus player. This is Marshmallow. Now we need some hot chocolate. I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends. <laughs>